Today on David Can Make That, I'm going to be reviewing this Everstart Jump Starter with air compressor. All right, I wanna start out by saying this is not a paid review. I actually needed this. I went out to my work truck Sunday night and I had to get up early Monday morning to make a two hour trip to corporate for a safety meeting and the truck was dead. So I ran to Walmart and I found this. It was pretty much the cheapest one they had. I think it was $39.95 and I uh, got it, took it home, plugged my truck into it and it started right up I was super happy so I'm doing a review on this okay on the box it says it has 750 peak amps with 300 cranking amps um, I don't really have a way to test that all I know is that it started up my work truck perfectly fine and did what I needed it to do so one thing I like about this thing is it actually has a USB port on here so you can plug uh, USB devices uh, and charge them on here. That's, that's pretty cool. It also has a 12 volt outlet here so if you have something that you usually plug into your vehicle uh, you can plug them into this and power it off of there. Also, this button on the front here, if you hold that down for three seconds, it has a light on it that comes on and it was late at night when I was charging the truck so this was actually pretty handy because I didn't have to hold a flashlight to be able to see where I needed to put the leads on it. You push it again and it flashes so you could put this by the truck as a warning so that so people don't run into you if you're on the side of the road or something. You can also test it. One push tells you where the battery in this thing is at. And also when you hook these up to your truck, it'll tell you the amount of power it have, has. It only has um, three power levels, but it'll tell you if it's really drained, kind of medium, or at full power. So th that was another cool thing about it. Now let's run out to the truck and show you how to jump a vehicle with it. You just unhook this, put it on, unhook this, put it on, and then flip this to on and it's charging it. And you can actually jump start this from this position as well. Okay, on the other side here, um, you'll notice that it has an air compressor. An air compressor. Um, it turns on and the hose for it is in here. You just pull this out and you can hook that up. Let's, uh, let's go test it out on a Volvo I have sitting in my driveway. All right, we're gonna test the air compressor function of this. I have a tire on this car that's been sitting here a while that's decently flat. We're gonna let some more air out on it. All right. It's not even registering 10 PSI, so let's, let's fill her up and see what happens. All right, and just flip this switch. All right, the screen, the little display here says that it's at 30 PSI. So let's take this off and see what it actually reads. Wow, it's right at, right at 30 PSI according to my little gauge here. I've actually never had one of these that the PSI dial read correctly. Now compared to other similar style air compressors I've owned, it actually didn't take that long to fill up the tire. It actually was quicker than the other two I've owned previously. When we want to charge this, another neat thing is you just have this prong that flips out and you can plug in this cord that comes with it. and it, it starts charging and it lets you know when it's full. 
it actually comes with in the box it has a few accessories this is a 12 volt to 12 volt I'm assuming that you can just tend your vehicles voltage by plugging this in here and this in your vehicle you're going to charge your vehicle up that way as well if you're somewhere where you can't really get at the battery with the leads you can just plug this in and charge it up that way it also has a couple accessories um, for filling various things up like a needle for sports and some other little needles here don't really need those as far as i'm concerned I'm not sure exactly what battery this thing has in it. I'm assuming it's a lead acid battery based on the instructions they give you. They say you need to charge it immediately upon getting it home and then charge it once every 30 days. It doesn't say NICAD or lithium ion like some of these uh, say. I, I think this has got to be a lead acid cell. Well, I hope you found this review useful. If you did, please go down below and hit thumbs up. Also, feel free to subscribe. I have other review videos coming, as well as DIY project videos. So check me out on YouTube and Instagram at David Can Make That.